Good morning from New York City. Oh, I think I have to turn this off, otherwise I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay. Hello, you're you're hearing all this uh, amateur uh, production here. That's okay. Uh, it's the 21st century, I, I think it is at least anyway, and everyone wants a piece of the pie, everyone wants to be online, everyone wants to talk a lot and play video games and talk about food and art and photography and politics, I guess, who knows what else people want to talk about on these uh, crazy uh, times we're living in. And I'm one of them, I'm a human being here on planet Earth. And that's not the real planet, that's something I found in the trash outside and rescued, but it's a nice globe. I'm talking to you from New York City and I'm gonna play, there's about uh, an hour and a half of the closed beta of uh, Balsa Model Flight Sim, which is a new game by the creator of Kerbal Space Program. If I ever had kids, uh, I don't have kids, you only have cats, but if I ever had kids, this would be the video game that I would uh, want them to play. It's, it has a lot of joy, it has a lot of... Uh, you build things, you learn about how planes work, how things fly, not just planes, but anything with a wing, like a bird. Uh, and, and so it's an educational game, it has a lot of joy. It doesn't have uh, blood, it has uh, paintballs, it has little model airplanes zipping around the sky. And uh, it's in development right now, it's not available for sale, but uh, it apparently soon, uh, trademark soon, it'll be available. And I'm, it's the game I'm most excited about uh, for a, in a long time. And right now I'm, gonna have a, I'm lucky enough to have a closed beta key, so I'm going to jump in. I have an hour and a half to shoot down a little plane, and uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to scenarios, I'm going to go to the Rove in Harvard that I haven't uh, really visited before. Accept and uh, go for a free-for-all flight. The other day I uh, made my own little plane and flew it for the first time. You can see that in the archives on Twitch. But today I'm just going to get uh, this E3 Aero Verge, which looks like a Tucano, which is a Brazilian airplane. And I'm going to fly this and show you a couple of new things that I learned. It's, it's a little buggy. There's, I mean, this is a game in beta in development. Um, and it's a game that simulates radio controlled airplanes. So right now I'm, uh, I'm for example, I'm uh, this dude here. Here, let's see if I can show you my, my dude. You see that little guy there? That's, that's me of the remote control there with the like baseball cap. Um, I forgot how to switch this to third person view now, but anyway. Um, so I have a radio control over here on my left virtual hand and uh, and I have the model aircraft here and I have these, well, these other little enemy model aircrafts that I'm going to try to shoot down one of them. And the game is fully, uh, you can build your own plane and fly it, but right now I'm going to uh, fly an existing one. And one thing I just learned, uh, this is cool, I can press tab here, I can click action figures and I can put a little action figure here. And when I do that, when I switch the plane view, uh, I can switch to the cockpit. Now there's an action figure, so I can be the little action figure in the cockpit, and that's going to help me fly this thing and shoot something down, because I like to see have a little sight here. There's even a little sight. See, so I can go from chase from this guy, the my virtual uh, controller, and inside the airplane. So let's try, let's take it off. Uh, let's, uh, we're sort of in a city right here. Uh, see this little bouncy thing here? This is like a bug. I'm not gonna jump and uh, and uh, kill my, my digital avatar here. But we're sort of in a... I don't know if this looks like Seattle. I've never been to Seattle, but I flew over in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 the other day. This looks like some sort of downtown area, and I kind of like this because it's the kind of thing like I would do when I was a kid. You know, I live in a big metropolis that I'm gonna fly over later today. I'm gonna be flying over Sao Paulo in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And this kind of looks like a something I would do, like illegally fly a, a, a little... Oh, look, there's a green plastic dude in the... <laughs> you can see him in the... his face in the in the bottom on the, on the controller there. And this, yeah, I would like, you know, fly a plane in the city with no, uh, with no like license or uh, no FCC approval, F FAA approval. And uh, I probably go and if I was a kid today, I'd probably be trying to shoot down one of the police drones that, that fly around the cities with one of these things with a paintball. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to turn on the engine. And here I go. 
Whoa! Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> that was a great start. Uh, I'm not... I have been playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's my excuse. Uh, I've been playing Microsoft Flight Simulator for a while, and so all my... I'm, I have... There's so many controls in my brain these days that I'm really a little bit... Uh, going a bit on nuts here. So let's try this again. I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn on the engine. Uh, I'm gonna hold shift, I think. Okay. Why can't I? Oh, here we go. All right, I got it. You can zoom out the view. Have a little targeting reticle. I have to turn down the volume here. It's a little loud. Not sure how it's doing for you. It's, uh, eventually, I'm gonna have a better quality mic than this thing here. But um, it's not a bad thing. But uh, for for streaming, I want to get it as my voice uh, as at least annoying as possible to you. So, all right. One of my goals for this game before this closed beta ex uh, ends in uh, just over an hour is to shoot, was to build one of these planes and be able to f successfully take off. And I've done that and land and I've done that. And now another thing is to shoot down something with a plane. I don't think I specified my own plane, but maybe I, if there's enough time, I can try to that one too. But for now, I'm using a pre-built one. All right, I'm going to switch the cockpit view. And oh, okay. No, here, here's the. That was interesting. This is this is the view from my guy. So you can actually control from your uh, virtual radio controller guy. But obviously, that's really far away, and it'll be almost impossible to shoot something down from that view. Probably not. That will be a, ni a nice new challenge. We'll try that when the game releases, probably. But for now, this is gonna be. It's really like shaky and shaky. And uh, in here, so. I don't know if that's comfortable t for you to watch, so I'm gonna keep uh, the external view for now. And maybe if I get behind one of these things that are also trying to shoot me down, these are like uh, AI-controlled uh, enemy model airplanes flying around this lovely little park here in some sort of virtual Seattle reenactment. Once I get behind one of them, I'll switch to the regular view. Okay, this one I'm getting a little bit closer. Let's see. Oh, the wrong key. Okay, it's V, I think. V? No, I have to press it twice. Uh, now I don't know. Uh, wow. Okay. Anyway, maybe it's a bug. You see, like a development console on the bottom left there. Uh, some stuff. Uh, some red. Uh, oh, here you go. I'm inside now. Some red. Uh, a rare message is appearing. And software development is. Uh, oh, here you go. That's, that's that's not looking bad. Software development is basically about uh, breaking things as quickly as possible and. Uh, and seeing where the errors are, and putting something out that kind of works, and and uh, and taking it from there, you know, it's. <laughs> I hope that I, I wish that they didn't also break society, uh, but I guess uh, they've been doing that too. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Uh, yeah, but I hope you I hope you fix it. You know, you we are you have a lot of people in your hands now. Oh, I think I hit him. All right, shot off a control. Surface was shot off that plane. Is that the one? Now I lost him. Okay, I'm, let me switch back to the external view because otherwise I'm, I'm gonna shake so much that I'm gonna start getting sick here. All right, I have friends who actually um, they they get sick playing 3D uh, video games. All right, this is pretty. This is looking pretty good. Reduced power. They get sick playing 3D video games. So there's that. You know, I understand that. Um, I will also be playing games that are not this fast and. Uh, are more uh, quieter games so even if uh, maybe I should uh, up I usually append the name of the game when I when I stream but it won't all be shaking and and super uh, active action in in digital sky so kids yeah you have to shoot before got him all right you see that it flew off that was awesome this is really great damage modeling because you build these things you actually put together the, the wings the flaps the fuselage the landing gear the engine the propeller you put all this together yourself and when you shoot them with these little paintballs okay it's not who i was going for but he crossed my my path so i took like an opportunity shot but this is a pretty big guy i'm gonna go after him the barracuda so you put these planes together and all the pieces are modeled all the flight surfaces are modeled the and it's a really wonderful 
a joyful video game that brings me back to my childhood. I built real balsa model airplanes. Never one of an engine. I built a glider that I threw in uh, when I used to live in Sao Paulo when I was a kid. And this totally reminds me, this video game reminds me of that time in my life. So I'm very excited about this. It's uh, one of my, my goals in life is to be a kid till I die. And so I... Uh, this type of video game helps me do that. All right, let's try it again. Okay, this is looking good here. Maybe I can switch the to the cockpit view. Yeah. Okay, let's switch the cockpit. Let's try to fly. I'm flying the keyboard here, so it's really not the ideal control for this. But frankly, I've had some trouble setting up the controllers. I don't know if they're fully supported yet. So I've just stuck the mouse and keyboard, and it has this really weird uh, thing that I'm not used to. That that uh. Okay, it's another another surface shut off. Right, let's stay with this. Let's stay with this guy. I'll try not to talk so much now. I'll try to concentrate, focus on uh, getting behind this Barracuda, and I want to shoot him down. I want him to crash down in the park there, and uh, no kid's gonna come and beat me up uh, for shooting down his model airplane. But do uh, you see, see like the 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 sound? Like there, there was a split second between you see like the the piece being shot off and the, the sound of uh, of it. Of it, uh, of the hit. So sound uh, propagation is modeled. This is another, another awesome thing. This guy's taking off. He's leaving, I think. Hopefully, I'm not gonna. Yeah, he disappeared. He he just he left. He 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 saw he was damaged and he left. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, sound propagation is modeled. So if I shoot, see a hit down there, and then a split a little bit later, the sound reached me. So I believe that's because they're modeling the speed of sound. It's a little bit. Uh, it's much slower than than light, obviously. And these kind of details are what I love in uh, flight simulators. And uh, any type of video game like Arma that simulates uh, physics uh, and really tries to simulate um, how things move in the air or uh, in a computer. They are more difficult, but they're very rewarding. And oh shit! Okay, battery's dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a landing. Uh, okay, dead stick landing here. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn. I can hear the, I don't know if you can, how loud the game is, but uh, I ran out of battery. I couldn't shoot anything down of that. I'm going to have to restart, but let's try to land without breaking anything. Oh, I broke, what did I break? Some little piece flew off the front wheel. That's not too bad. Uh, any landing, you you can uh, open the cockpit and get out of without missing a leg or an arm. It's a pretty good one. So let's recover and let's try again. Um... Thankfully, it's a video game. It's not a real life thing, so I don't have to spend like a, a day building the model again, or, or or just a moment attaching the that landing gear in the front again. So let's try again. Engines on. Shift is power, I believe. Is it on the engine? Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Okay. Let's go for that Barracuda. I'm gonna try to get behind him. And in real uh, fighter combat, you're supposed to, to get the best chance of success, you open fire when you're very close. There's no rules in any of this stuff, of course, so you can uh, fire when you're far as well, but, but it would probably do more damage if I'm wait till I'm close to him. Although sometimes if it, they're passing by really fast, you have a snapshot, you take it, you know. Uh, you have to, luck is, is part of life and it's part of the video game for sure. Alright, here we go. Let's try to switch to cockpit view. And I have to move the mouse, so there's no padlock view that I know of, that you have to click a button and it keeps your digital head uh, aiming at the airplane. It makes it much more challenging. But um, it's very challenging. It's, they're very, they're very jumpy and finicky. These little model airplanes. They're not uh, as stable and smooth as a as a big airplane. And I'm not really doing too, ga too good today because of my um, well, number one, I'm, I'm I never did too great. I'm not a by any ch by any uh, stretch of the imagination a professional esports video game player. 
I'm a casual player, but I've played a lot of games for a long time, and uh, some games I'm pretty good at, but I like to play a lot of different games. I don't want to like spend all my time in one game, I, so I guess I'll be what they call a variety uh, streamer. Plays a lot of different games. I may focus on one or two when I'm a little, little have a sort of obsession for a while, but uh, I'm gonna play a lot of different video games. And in this city, in this uh, in this particular map here, it seems uh, okay. There you go. There's a. You see like that something flew off. Okay, control surface. The frame rate's not as good in this city. So I mean, the game is in beta. There's a lot of things to be optimized, and this game is not very demanding. You know, it's very simple graphics, but very beautiful graphics in my opinion. This, it's kind of like almost a Minecraft in space. That's, uh, but instead of like blocks, it has like flight surfaces, wings, and stuff. But uh, but the the performance here, here you go. This is looking good. All right. Is he going down? These things don't go. Okay, I think he's going down. I think he's going down. Thank you, thank you. Who, who, who was that? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to look at the chat. Boom! Okay, he crashed. All right, let's let's try to. Oh, let's try not to crash myself. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. Thank you, board gaming minimalist. Uh, I didn't see you there because I was so focused. Uh, I was so focused uh, on getting that done, but I did it. I crashed myself. But uh, here, let's do one landing that I don't crash just to make up for that. But that uh, I uh, I managed to shoot uh, someone a plane. Oh, just threw it. Okay, I managed to shoot a plane down, which was my go. So I'm happy about that. Um, the born gaming minimalist uh, has been following me. I, it's funny they don't put like uh, time uh, in uh, timestamps in these. I don't know if that's an option in Twitch on these. Uh, on the chat here, so I don't know how long you've been watching me, but thanks for watching uh, Board Game Minimalist. I, I know who this is, this is a great friend of mine uh, from uh, from middle school, and um, I'm very happy that uh, he's doing well right now with all this crazy situation in the world, and that um, he's here with me watching me play video games. We used to play video games together when we were kids uh, in... Uh, uh, Super Nintendo, Super NES, also in a, uh, the house of a friend of mine. Uh, um, we played uh, early computer games, uh, PC games, and he loves board games. You should probably check out his. Uh, if you look up board game minimalist, I think he has an Instagram. Uh, he has a, a, a website, I believe. I'm not sure, but uh, he definitely has uh, some ch a or some channels you can follow, and he's. Uh, has a lot of knowledge and is quite obsessive about uh, board games, which are awesome and uh, which I love playing whenever I have a chance uh, to be uh, with people in the real world. One of the good things about having internet in this uh, time and this pandemic and having these types of video games is that you can... I mean, it doesn't really replace meeting someone in real life, but it does make it easier. I think it's really nice to be able to meet someone and not just be staring at a at some sort of zoom, uh, at some sort of zoom uh, screen, but and and just talking. That's fine too. But I, I think it's really nice to be able to do an activity together, and uh, and that makes me really happy uh, for to be living at this time and not like uh, in. Uh, I don't know during the Black Plague or something because well that was a bit more serious too. There were there weren't no scientists and uh, doctors that were going to figure out a vaccine and uh, and help us out. If you have a headache, there was no like uh, ibuprofen and uh, you know if you if you hurt your leg, they might just cut it off instead of try to fix it. So I'm glad I'm not living in those times. Uh, all right, that's a nice little landing there. Uh, that my little Tucano E3, whatever the heck it was called in this game, with the little awesome little uh, green man landed successfully. I did shoot someone down. I have about an hour to go in this beta, so now I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to end the mission. This was just an open lobby. I'm going to return to the workshop. And I was beginning to explore. There's a career mode in this game. Um, I'll, I'll, quickly, I'll, I'll give you a quick... Uh, just a very quick, uh, for people joining in only now uh, that you might not have seen this, I'm, I'm going to give you a quick little 
very rough uh, demonstration of actually building the airplane, but I'm going to spend literally like five minutes on that, not more. And then we're going to try the career mode, um, this mission that I was having trouble with, that you have to fly through a bunch of, uh, through um, uh, a checkpoint course. I was going to say obstacle, but they weren't really obstacles, they're most like checkpoints. But first, let's take a quick look at the workshop. Let's see. Um, so this game is about um, you build an airplane that flies. So you start with like a, a fuselage. Let's get this adaptive one in the middle there. And then you put a, a cockpit, for example. Let's uh, try something a little different. Let's try uh, this little thing here. All right. And then um, you might put a little engine on it. I'll put it there. Uh, here, let's put a fairing in the... F let's put a, this thing here. Uh, I think that one won't fit. Maybe this one will fit better. Alright, uh, I'm gonna toggle the internal view and move the engine a little forward there. And, um... And so you build an airplane. And here in the back, I'm going to, uh, attach, uh... Let's make something really weird. I'm not really going to think much about it at all. I'm going to put uh, some wings. Really weird aircraft. Alright, and I'm going to get the spin quite big. And you have to put flaps too, because uh, wings, you know, they give lift, but... Uh, but... Um, this, they, they don't control the airplane. They, they control the lift. So they make you go up and down if you get when you give power but um, what actually controls the airplane is these flight control surfaces the L in this case the these ailerons and I'm gonna put them there and I'm gonna give them a increase the spans to go to the edge there and I'm gonna increase the cord so they're a little bit longer so they have a bit more uh, what they call authority uh, I don't like authority in the real world, but I like authority in uh, my ailerons, okay? Alright, yeah, authoritarian, I'm, I'm an authoritarian's bad day, you could say. But uh, hey, that's life. Uh, here's, uh, okay, so these make the airplane go like this. Now I'm going to put a, I'm going to make a weird little, I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to do it like this. These are the horizontal stabilizers. I'm putting them half, half, half vertical, half horizontal, so I don't have to worry about the, uh, the vertical one that I was having trouble aligning. Um, so many controls in two different uh, video games right now. It's a, a golden week for flight simulators like we, last week. We had Microsoft Flight Simulator come out. We had, uh, uh, had well, for me, I, I've been lucky with this, uh, Balsa Model Flight Simulator Open Beta and uh, IO2 Sturmovic, which is pretty much my favorite flight simulator, has a new update that adds a... Uh, Women in uh, the first time I think in a combat simulator simulator that you can have be a, a a woman in the cockpit and in the times that we're living now, uh, that's a very good thing. Uh, well, all times it's a very good thing, but I'm very happy to see uh, more and more people realizing that uh, if you don't leave 50% of the population, if you don't. Uh, out of the picture, if you if you if 100% of the population is in the picture, then uh, things would be much better. And so that was exciting. Uh, DCS has a Syria map out. That one I have a bit of a trouble getting as excited about that one, even though I love that it's a wonderful video game and it's jet planes and stuff. There's still a war in real life Syria going on, and so I feel a little weird about uh, that. Although. Uh, that's probably just me being uh, uh, a prude or something prudish, but you know when when something the real you, you hear, read about news about horrible things happening somewhere, uh, and then there's a video game that's modeling you know being able to to drop bombs there too. It's it, it's a little I prefer playing I prefer giving a bit of space to that. All right, and I know that, that's probably a, a total hypocrite hypocrisy of me saying that and uh and then killing people in uh in digital people in uh in all these other video games but uh let's see let's put a battery in here i, s I should probably stop stop talking so much shit right now and just uh 
let's put a little let's make a little place for our little model person to sit um let's yeah let's put some some gears on this uh real quick uh i'm, I'm just doing something really haphazard here to show you that that hopefully you can let's let's put two let's put two wheels in the front <laughs> what a weird beast and uh i'm going to i have to I think i have to connect the stuff did it automatically connect for me let's see all right the the battery automatically connected the to the motor uh, the motor, I think I had to connect to the propeller. I think I'm not, I, it, it looks like it might not be close enough, but um, let's check it out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to call this uh, Brutamontes. We have a, just something that came to my head, some a, a Brazilian word that means like a, a sort of big, strong, uh, uh, per, like a beefcake or something, I think. Uh, where do I click? Okay, let's click fly and oh, I have to purchase because it's career mode. Career mode, I think you have money, and um, so yeah, I'll pay some digital uh money for this. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, well, the landing, the back landing gear <laughs> already, <laughs> it's not looking great. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see what happens. I've got, I'm gonna actually try to take off uh, without throwing it. I'm gonna drop it here because I could like throw it because it's it's modeling like a you know a model flight simulator. So like actually for a glider that doesn't have a, an engine and that doesn't have a... all right let's try it. Uh, well, that's not very good at all. <laughs> Let me throw it and it's not gonna work. And I, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend much time with this because I want to show you a bit more flying today. But okay. Engine start is on, and here it goes. <laughs> wow, see, like it bounces off, and okay, so that was just a like, really wild talking. I, I made this really ugly, weird uh, bruta monchis here, and uh, and I don't think the engine is powerful enough for the size of fuselage. I don't think that the wing is the wing is like a little off there. You can see on the side, but this is just to show you that it models. Whatever you do with the wing seat, like it's sw swept up, it's up to you. And so it's really rewarding to make something that flies and you can stay in control with. And I and I did make something uh, that you can see in one of my other videos. But right now, I'm not going to spend more time just building. I'm going to, unless uh, someone wants me to, then just say in chat. But right now, I'm going to back out and I'm going to, no, I'm going to go to this event in the career mode. And there's this island tour check ride. And you, know, and you have like a different... Um, different uh, achievements you can make so like uh, pass uh, ace or pro or pro or ace I forget so you have different grades and I've gotten like pro in all of them I think but I haven't I don't think I finished this island check ride and so it's a nice little uh, it's a it's a nice little career mode to this video game that gives you objectives which I think will be in the a, a really fun thing in the final video game. All right, let's. Uh, this is a very unstable biplane. I mean, it's stable, but it's very jumpy. And I think I've actually done this one before. Yeah, I have done this before, but I'll do it again to show you. There was another one that I hadn't done. Um, maybe I just chose the wrong uh, thing in the menu. But let's do this one again. I'll show you what it's like. Okay, so I have to go through these checkpoints. And controlling of the mouse is pretty tricky. And then you have to land, and if you land without breaking anything, it's uh, you get full marks, you know, like ace or pro or whatever they, which whatever one watch it was. If you manage to land and something breaks, but you manage to land, then you get the I think the pass. So let's try. Uh, going through the checkpoints and ah all right since since I crashed here I'm gonna go back because this is I had done this one already and I don't want to do um, I want to show a more interesting one which is on a bigger map and I think I picked the wrong one so let's check it out all right go back to the events 
Island Tour Checker. Is this the one? Maybe it was a different one. Is, it, is this the career mode? Okay, let's go back. They did say career mode is, is more buggy. So maybe I'm uh, I'm not seeing it because I'm looking in a different spot. But let's check it out. Back to the main menu. Um, was it locations maybe? Okay. I think it, maybe that's what it was. It was an event location. Okay, let's go to Wiraway Bay. Yeah, this is what it was. I was just getting confused. That particular island map I was in, I had done all of those. I hadn't done uh, the one here in uh, Wiraway Bay, which is a larger island. And apparently I saw in uh, Filippi Falungi's, the, the developer's um, own stream uh, the other day, uh, this video game it models it really models like you know control surfaces it can model wheels so in the future they might add boats they might add cars so you can have like little tank battles with little tanks that you make yourself or little boats that you make yourself and that all this is super exciting that you'd be able to build something you know instead of just going out with uh, something uh, a developer pre-built for you and being limited to um, to uh, using, you know, the cosmetics or the types of guns or the types of airplanes they already built for you, which is fine. But this is one of the first games I've ever seen that you can, other than Kerbal Space Program by the same developer, that you can uh, you can build uh, something and then go and use that to fly against other people, to fly against the AI. And uh, here, I'm just gonna pick an existing plane, not my Brutamonte that doesn't even fly, and we're gonna try this out. And I want to be able to have cockpit view, so I'm going to approach. You can only get cockpit view, so if I press C here, I can only switch to the plane and back to to my uh, virtual radio controller, dude. But if I press tab here and I click action figures, let's try the major malfunction. A veteran of more missions than anyone cares to count. Major Malcolm malfunction is harder than nails, has more metals than teeth, and is definitely not afraid of flying in that thing you just built. Not at all. Yeah, definitely not afraid. Okay, we're going to put this guy that looks like Guile from Street Fighter 2 in the cockpit seat and now that he's in there if I press C now I can see from the cockpit so it's just, just really little details like this that's really cool and um, and I don't think this was even explained in the manual but and I love the uh, these more complicated games that you can just uh, discover these things yourself you know all right here we go I don't want to fly by mouse okay that's the that's my uh, my paintballs I guess Let's go. Okay, this is a little bug. This part is full thing, I think. All right. Okay, zoom back so it's a. Uh, I can use the scroll wheel and the mouse to zoom back to make it a bit more comfortable. Yeah. So this is a much bigger island. You can see that first uh, tutorial island was quite small. This one's quite a bit bigger. You you you, you can have fly by mouse. I like click, and then wherever you aim, it flies. But I find it a little. A little tricky see I just missed that because up is up and down is down and usually I'm used to um, I can probably reverse the um, the axis it can get smoother once you get used to it but right now I, I just I'm, I've gotten used to flying with this uh, weird uh, radio control standard of Q and E uh, as ailerons A and D is the yaw and uh, WS is pitch, so let's give ourselves a little distance here. In flight, uh, and this is another thing I'm going to talk about. This, uh, why it's interesting to be playing flight team, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and playing um, this Balsa model simulator at the uh, open uh, closed beta at the same time, because it it really makes you think about how things fly in the air and how like the surfaces affect something that flies, like the energy, the, well, almost crashed. And one of the things that makes it easier when you're having trouble, see I missed this, is to give yourself more space and more time to to hit a target. So if you're coming into land, uh, a lot of uh, people that have played these games for the first time, they want to get right on top of the airport and want to swoop down and, and land. But if you do that, uh, often you're too fast and and you're not going to be able to stop in time, or you don't have time to maneuver. The plane's going too fast, so it's good. Uh, these types of video games that are simulators, they give you an understanding of how an object moves through space. In this case, airplanes. 
And this is something that you can um, use in the real world, like uh, throw a frisbee like we were doing uh, this weekend. That's why I didn't stream this weekend. I was just ch taking it easy, uh, throwing a frisbee in the park here. Good to get away from the computer. But uh, playing these video games, it, it gives you an appreciation for how things work in the real world. And uh, especially the simulators that actually try to simulate how things actually work in the real world. And I think that's a really um, rewarding thing. Because then you can, when you're on a flight somewhere, if one day you can fly again, uh, you can look out the window and you can think, okay, that's probably, he's probably going to run here and land in Grand Rapids. Maybe he's going to take runway 3L. I'm not sure. He's turning right now. You see where you are. And uh, it just gives you a, an appreciation to what's happening around you, uh, to being in the moment. It's kind of uh, almost like a zen uh, uh, meditative activity. I missed that one right when I said Zen meditative activity. <laughs> so I'll be thinking too hard. So let's uh, increase power, give myself more. Uh, and this 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 part is full. It's everywhere. It's uh, driving me a little nuts. But uh, this is a this is uh, certainly a, a bug. I think when I put uh, when I put that uh, action figure and I hovered over. Uh, a seat next to him or I hovered over the same seat I think the bug is that it thinks that I'm uh, trying to put him there and it doesn't realize I already put him there or see I'm talking too much and not concentrating on my uh... ah oh <laughs> not concentrating on my flight here I was very close all right oh there's a little ramp there that looks cool so let me um reduce engine speed and try to t do what I was talking about be a little bit more zen like pay attention even though this part is full thing that's uh, shaking all over the place here I forgive the irregular corporation uh, <laughs> great name for a for a video game publisher the irregular corporation uh, no need to forgive anyone they're, they're, they're making it. this game is gonna be awesome it already is awesome in the closed beta and I'm super excited for the launch whenever that happens. All right, waypoints reach 11 of 17. Now there's one uh, it's a little lower here. I do hope that they, they give a little... I know that's quite realistic to, to have these types of engines be quite buzzy. But I hope there's a little option to... Um, I haven't even checked that. Maybe there's an option to reduce the engine... Uh, the to adjust the sound of the engine of the airplanes because it can get um, a little bit um, a little bit uh, too high pitch when you're flying for a long time at least from this view all right let's see here <laughs> then here I don't think I'm gonna do both of these at once I'm gonna have to increase power and you see, I'm 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 really I'm low and I'm slow right here. And that's a dangerous, uh, that's a tricky part thing to do because you uh, flight attitude to be at because if you make a mistake, you're low and slow. You don't have a, a speed to climb and oh shit, and you don't have uh, altitude to to maneuver. So in airplanes, the the highest and the fastest you're going, the safer you are which can sound counterintuitive, but that really is the way it is. And uh, I, mean, I, I love flying slow, uh, flying um, low, it's exciting. But uh, if it wasn't a video game, I'd be much more concerned about it. Uh, mistakes then when you're low is, uh, can end your, uh, your flying career very quickly, just like a battery dying battery can so battery's dead i'm swooping low and slow through a city oh and this is not gonna work <laughs> oh, man. all right i took too long the battery uh the battery matters as well i'm gonna try again and so that that annoying little this part is full doesn't keep shaking and and, and driving me nuts I'm going to uh, not put someone in the copy in the cockpit this time. Whoa. Okay, he just wants to. T no, no. 
Oh, here, let's at least restart the mission. I think I, I had my hand on the, I had my hand on the throttle already. Let me turn off the engine so I don't do that. You hold right mouse, and I'm gonna head to the airplane. I'm gonna pick it up. It, this part is full thing is still all over the place. Pretty annoying, but um, I guess that's just gonna have to be. Let me try to remove the little uh, action figure from there. Well, let's try to put two. Maybe that'll fix it. Can I put two action figures? The plane will be much heavier then. So this is what I'll do. I'm gonna go um, end mission. I return to workshop and I start again and see if I, if I don't put any um, any action figure in the cockpit it doesn't give me that problem let's see okay vents whirlway airfield scouting a flight around whirlway base airfield to see the sights and get familiar with the area no view concluded you have to bring your own okay i already bought this uh aero verge thing that i was flying so uh, let's put it in thank you very much for being there my three current viewers appreciate it very much in a week from now i have a regular schedule this is my getting my bearings week. All right, engines on. Let's go. Let's see if I do better now without that shaking little uh, thing that was uh, very distracting and kind of and very annoying to look like uh, uh, a bug in the closed beta of a Balsa model flight simulator. Another thing I noticed the other day is um, that when you shoot the gun, you can see, I don't know if you notice in the, below the, you can see the shadow of the bullets on the ground. I haven't, I don't think I've seen a, a, a flight simulator do this. See that it models the, it's hard to see if you're not paying attention to it, but it models the shadows your, your paintballs uh, leave over the ground, which is another nice little detail. All right. Don't have a lot of battery. I wonder if, if you have less throttle that affects battery life, probably. That's if they're modeling everything, they probably are modeling that too. So probably flying slower would be good for being able to get this done in time. Although I really was missing a lot of things, so that was probably what happened. Beautiful sunny day here in Wiraway Bay. It's a little bit like New York actually. It's uh it's hot. I mean, I don't know how hot it is in the game, but it looks like it's hot. There's at least like sort of a, a haze in the in the air of some some sort of semi-transparent clouds, and very humid in New York City right now, where I'm streaming this from. Really humid day. I'm wearing a T-shirt here because I'm not uh, flying Microsoft Flight Simulator. I only put on my tie when I'm doing a bit more serious flying. Uh, not that this is not serious, but this is more joyful. But uh, later I'll put on my tie and really suffer for you. Uh, my shirt and tie and I really suffer and sweat for you when I'm uh, flying over Sao Paulo in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 I'm going to do a flight in Sao Paulo I'm going to um, fly what my commute used to be like going to school where I used to live and then to school and when I much would rather be playing model fly model uh, airplanes like these <laughs> west of Sao Paulo. Uh, Alright, this is looking much better. That's a pretty tricky little... those last... is this how many am I at? I don't know where to see that now. I don't know how many checkpoints I have. I'm at a 55%, 54% battery power. So that is basically your timing. You have fuel, you have limited fuel. This is very tricky here to do this turn and get that one at the same time. We'll try it, but Oh, got it. Just got it. All right. And uh, let's try this next to these little weird condos over here. I'm really not good at the rudder in this thing, so I, I'm using the ailerons probably weight more, more than I should. I should be using rudder more for... See, I just missed that one to, to try to get this control, but I'm really not used to these uh, model flight simulator. Um, and I'm not... Uh, these mo I think it's it's a it's a convention of model aircraft radio control that the yaw and and the and the roll 
is on the same uh, little joystick on the left one, I think. I've never flown a powered one, so I don't know. I've actually never flown a, a radio control airplane, so I don't know. Let me try to give myself more space. I have 36% battery life. Is this the last one? I'm not sure. I'll probably have to land, too. So this is, this is a pretty challenging thing. It's uh, and, and so here is an example of how uh, an airplane you built could solve this challenge. This airplane probably only has one battery. will help you solve this challenge. And if I build an airplane that had two batteries, that would give me twice the time probably to do this. In the future, I plan to test that. Okay, let's try to use my rudder a bit more. Okay, there you go. See, I give myself space. I give myself time. New rank chief, pass. Okay, land at the runway. Okay, the runway's right there. Oh, okay, that's the beginning. Okay, I'll try to I'll land on the runway. I'm, I pass right now. Now, if I land at the runway, uh, I'll probably get a ace or pro. And if I land at the runway without damage, I'll probably get a ace or pro, whichever one is the best one, the highest rank. So I have 20% power left. I'm going to reduce power. I'm going to try to come in slow and to carefully try to use rudder more. Let's try to use the rudder more and come in. Um, there's the runway. It's a bit of a tricky runway to land it. Let's try to reduce power. I'm going to go in here. Oh, man. No. I'm going to turn around. That wasn't good. 15%. Okay. 15%, 14%, 13%. I'm going to give myself height here because I'm going to power is going to run out. When power runs out, I'm going to have as much height as possible to be able to line up on that runway. I'm going to try to do, in uh, honor of my three current viewers, a dead stick landing. Dead stick, by the way, is another video game that's uh, coming out by the... being published, I believe, by the same uh, uh, people that are publishing uh, Balsam Auto Flight Simulator, the regular corporation, great name. Okay, let's, let's turn it off. Let's try the dead stick landing on this thing which means like uh, no engine power. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, I got it. It doesn't go on the runway though. Does that matter? Come on, it didn't break. Pass, okay. They, they wanted me to land on the runway, not uh, next to it, but the plane didn't break, but that's life, you know. You, you tick the boxes. If it's not the right boxes they wanted, uh, you might get demoted or fired, but <laughs> that's all right. Uh, return to workshop. I'm happy of that. I'm happy that I passed that little mission. You should try putting some action figures aboard your vehicles. Oh, here you go. Here's they're telling me about that. Aboard your vehicles, if you haven't already, they'll most definitely add some extra characters to them. You can browse real figures at the action figure station. So that's coming soon, the action figure station there. Um, all right, what time is it? It is 40, uh, New York City is 10.15, been on for 47 minutes. This has been uh, Balsam Auto Flight Simulator. I'm going to play this one for uh, right until uh, for 12 more minutes. So I'm going to try put something else together. I'm going to try to modify, uh, here let's open, let's get my uh, Bruta Monchis. I'm going to try to make, in these minutes I have, I'm going to try to modify this to, to make it uh, to make it fly a little better. Or try to make it fly at all. Alright. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Put you there. Um, I'm going to delete this thing. Try this one instead, I think. Let's start from scratch. Okay, I don't know if that matches that uh, particular fuselage. Let's try something else. Man, okay, let's, let's try from scratch. All right. Okay. A little cockpit. Let's put something different. Let's put a. Uh, it's the same one. And very quickly. Um, try one more thing to see if I can make it fly 
at least be controllable in the first glow, which is difficult. I should probably be turning this thing on here, the arrow stability. But I don't really know how to read that thing so well right now. But once you get more experience with this game, I believe that you'd be able to... That would be a very useful thing for you to... Uh, for you to be able to tell how your uh, airplane will fly before you go outside. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put engines on the wings instead of on the front. It's good to change things up. Uh, right now, you know, I've, I've, I was building it just because uh, just because it's the, what I've been doing all the time. I've been putting it in, in the nose of the airplane, but let's change that. Let's, let's make this a really more... Uh, that's looking like a, a British plane from the 60s, like a Vulcan or something. Let's let's make this... Uh, can I put an engine on the tail, on the back? Let's try that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put like aerodynamic. I'm going to put a, a vertical stabilizer here. Two. Let's, let's, let's do it like I was doing before. Two vertical stabilizers. Um... Let's make it a. Uh, see, I'm not. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with 3D uh, modeling, like almost zero. This is my pretty much almost my first experience with 3D modeling. So, if you have uh, more experience with 3D modeling, this will probably be much easier for you. Because, uh, yeah, I'm a graphic. One of my. Uh, Work abilities as a graphic designer, so that's a 2D world. Video games these days are very 3D, and I don't envy the people that work in the 3D world. I, I admire them very much because it's it's very tricky, I find. But I I certainly don't envy them because I I feel like it's it's really hard. It's a lot of work to to get something. I mean, obviously, you uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it, like of anything. But um. But working in three dimensions is definitely another ball game from uh, from two, and that makes me also admire and people that work in four dimensions or six or multiple dimensions, like the physicists who are thinking about time and space and all that stuff. That's even crazier because then you can't even see. You have to like imagine in your head and look at symbols and stuff. And although I, I've heard that like people like Richard Feynman and people that are really good. Think, physicists are really good at seeing how things work. They associated like colors to to numbers and stuff like that. I think there's a name for that. And um, this other mental models that can uh, help you see something differently. And apparently actually Richard Feynman also I think is one of the greatest teachers that ever lived. He was, I heard that he also used his body, like he moved around, when he was working with a problem, he actually moved around, like he, he laid down on the floor and, and like tried to imagine something and 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 I think he, he invented these things called Feynman diagrams about how, uh, to say how, to describe how a particle moves in, um, in, um, in a, for example, an electron and an atom. And apparently, and this whole wiggling motion of electrons and particles, apparently he, he thought of that stuff by, by uh, yeah, using like uh, motions of his body, not just like writing equations down, but, but by really physically um, trying to visualize something physically, which to me is quite, uh, um, is a lesson. It's, uh, we have many senses and we often use, oh that's cool, you can change it like that, you, we use so few of them and it's cool especially when you have to um, get your grades based on a, cert, on a set curriculum and you're not given an opportunity to draw or to spend a lot of time outside and you don't learn as much as you would be able to if you could, if you could use your whole your whole, uh, all your senses to give you, to maybe let you find out what sense your particular body, your person, 
is best at learning with. All right, that's quite a digression there. Uh, I don't know if I should apologize or not, but I won't because I probably will be uh, digressing quite a bit in this stream. I do call it... Uh, I even forgot what I called it, but something like uh, journeys or voyages between uh, video games and art or between realities. And I guess one of the reasons I called it that is uh, that I feel that video games in the digital world has a lot of value to be applied in the real world. It's not just... Uh, well, playing is very important. It's play, and, and play is super important, and play should be... Uh, much more prominent in people's lives, I think. But it's um, it's valuable. It's it's valuable for um, video games are valuable. And uh, now I'm gonna try to find. I'm gonna stop digressing. I'm gonna try to find out where the hell I'm gonna put this engine. I think I'm gonna shove. I'm gonna try this to shove like a. I'm gonna turn off the symmetry up here, and I'm gonna try to just plonk. A, hey, I turned off the symmetry. Why are you still giving me symmetry? Oh. It's up here. Delete you. All right. I'm gonna try to plonk this on the on the center here. Okay, that looks okay. Let me make it a little shorter. Oh. Uh, I I I will eventually get, become more familiar with all these um, terminologies for for. Um, uh, aerodynamic surfaces, span, sweep, cord, horizontal taper, thickness, vertical tapers, a lot of a lot to digest in one, but I'm I'm really excited about so I'm excited to be learning this this, this stuff. Um I think for some reason just like uh, intuitively probably wrong intuition, but I think that this should be a bit thicker in order to be able to, to hold the weight of the engine. I don't know if that even matters. Model. And now uh I'm gonna put a fuselage on this thing. Can I just put the direct... <laughs> How's that? Can I plonk that up there? Does it let me? <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Uh, I don't know if it's gonna let me do that, but let's, let's try it. Do I have to... Maybe this one is too heavy. Maybe a maybe a lighter one. Maybe this thing here. Hey, let's let's build let's build it a bit higher here. Let's put it here. No, that that, that looks way too big. Um, I think it's gonna have to be that one. That looks like the the most uh, potentially uh, successful one. There. Big engine on the top. Uh, let's put a little engine in it. I could put a, a fuel a engine that takes fuel instead of an electric one, but I'm gonna buy the more expensive electric one. It's probably more powerful because I don't want to use fuel. I want I want to use electricity for this. And now I'm going to get. Um, I need to put a prop on this thing. Three blade propeller looks okay. Okay, so that's that engine up there. I don't know if this is how am I even going to connect it to the to the batteries, which I see. Oh, maybe the battery can go in the engine actually. All right, that looks really odd, and I don't know if it even it, it, it's it's going to let me do this, but um, I'm going to try it. Um, let's try to get a view that I'm I'm not that familiar with this road. Oh shit, no, I don't want to do that. Undo. I love undoing software. Control Z. Where did my engine go? Shit, okay. And where did my, uh... And where did my, all my stuff go? Oh, because, okay. I'm in rotate, that's why. Okay. I think I did manage to delete my engine somehow, so... I'm going to, um... Do it again, very quickly. Big engine. This back thing. Let's turn on, uh the internal view. Let's put in a, a bigger electric motor in this thing. Let's attra attach a prop to it. Oh. Internal view. 
it, it's very finicky, but in a way, this makes it more rewarding because it, when you get it to, to go in the right place, it's like, and you see your plane fly, then you're like, wow, I, I, you know, I, I made that thing. It's, it's nice. All right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, fuel tanks. Nope. I want batteries. Let's see how many batteries I can fit in this little space here. Probably two. One. Two. All right. And that's an engine. Okay, let's try not to lose it this time. I'm going to turn off the internal view. I'm going to ta try to attach this huge thing. Can I maybe I'll put in the wing instead of this back thing? Let's, let's try like that. All right. This back thing, I'm going to let me try to zoom in and see if I can select it. I'm going to reduce the span a little bit so it doesn't stick out the top there. Oh wow! Oh look at that! It, mo it moves the engine too. The pr the prop's gonna hit the plane though, so I think it actually has to be higher. And I think I have to actually let's let's try the rotation of this thing. I'm gonna rotate it. Ah, here you go. That's how. It, that's easier. Mouse drag and drop. Uh, I mean, uh, drag. Right click this one. Let's increase the span so it's a little bit higher. So I want I don't want this prop to the propeller to hit the bottom there. And I think I want to move the engine oh shit, okay, the engine a bit forward because it's kinda tricky. That was almost there. I have to use my f I think I hold shift to yeah, to be more here you go. You hold shift to, to get much more you see how minute the movements are there? Okay. Let's try it there, see what that looks like. Okay, weird looking airplane. That looks really heavy. Okay, let's check the center of mass. Okay, center of mass is on that engine there. So it models the mass. It's good for the center of the mass to be right in the center of the aircraft. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and I'm gonna move it. There. And uh, how many minutes do you have? I'm at, oh shit, I think this, I might, the beta might expire now because uh, I don't know if, or maybe they'll let me play until I quit, but I think the the close beta is expiring now, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm going to try to fly this before it expires. Let's, let's, let's just put it there. Not so happy of that. That's this, it's really hard to center this stuff. Here you go. Control. I held control. Let's just, okay. Center of mass is better. Let's just take this out for a spin. Okay, I'll, I'll put, I'll put a quick, uh, uh, like purple thing on it to just to and on the bottom too I'll put like some gr some uh, green and uh, and on the side color I'll put some yellow how's that all right and that's Bruta Monches but I don't like the name anymore this is a little bit uh, I'm gonna call this uh, uh, Avion can I oh I don't know how to do the chew in in the Windows keyboard so av Avion Bonito I'm gonna call it. All right, and let's try flying this thing. All right, 35 uh, whatever currency they use there. Here's the avion bonito. I didn't put any wheels on it, so I have to pick it up. I'm gonna turn on the engine. I'm gonna give throttle power. Oh shit! I forgot to connect it. That's why it's not spinning. Okay, let's go back inside. All right. Uh, back to the workshop, and uh, hopefully I saved it. I did. Okay, avion bonito. Let's turn on the connections. Okay, air stability looks <laughs> some looks kind of nuts, but uh, let's simulate when you press the when you increase the throttle. Oh, l I'm just gonna try to connect it because I don't want to spend too much time with that. Okay. Here's the battery. Okay. I think that's connected now. Oh, the engine. Okay. Is there? Is this not going to work? Because um. All right. Let's try to move these back a little bit. I think this one was okay, right? Yeah. Well, 
Sorry, I'm getting a little confused here. Oh, man. All right. All right, that looks good. All right. Let's try again. Okay. Internal view. Connect. This one to that one. That one. Why is that battery not connecting? Let's see. Let's try to put a battery in the bottom. Here. And let's try connect it from there. Okay, maybe it is connected now. Or maybe this needs a bigger battery. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, I could try to turn the engine on here, I think. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get rid of this, and maybe I need to put a smaller engine on this. Maybe that's why it's not working. Although this smaller engine doesn't look like... Um, it would really be able to get this off out into the sky. I keep talking. Almost there, babe. Uh, at the end of this particular stream, my partner here passing by. And uh, I think it's almost lunch. No, it's not lunchtime. I I'm waking up early now. Like Amber told me, I can't believe you're you're waking up so early now and you're dressing up. You're wearing a tie. What the hell is happening? I was like, well, I'm, I, I like my job now. <laughs> I mean, I don't get paid for it yet, but, you know, you don't have to get paid for something you will that you love doing. I've always loved playing video games. So, um, maybe this is a governator. Is a governator or something for the engine? Is that what's missing here? Utility. Uh, does it need anything else other than, a, than an engine and a propeller? I didn't think so. Uh, maybe, it, maybe it will work. Let's try it. But I don't see where to connect. Okay, this has to... Maybe I just need to do that. I don't know. Let's try it. God, expensive new parts, huh? Ah, hey, where's the engine? <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. That's an issue. I think I'm good. I think this idea of uh, putting the engine on the on the roof of the airplane of the, on that big thing it it's not liking that for some reason. Uh. But. I do want to try it one Why did that engine disappear? I do want to try one more time. Let's let's do this. Oh, that's an looks smaller that engine or it's just my my imagination. Okay, let's put that one there. Let's put you there. No, it was just my imagination, it's still the same one. Let's get the engine. Put this big thing in there. Let's put a, a propeller. See, it has two. Sp oh, here you go. Maybe that connected it. Internal view. Put another battery there. Connect these. Turn off the internal view. Go back to place. And uh, try to place it uh, more or less. In the center. Oh man. Very finicky, but we'll get there. Alright, let's just leave it like that. And uh, do I have to put flight controls in it? No, that I don't remember. Maybe I need to put, because the cockpit is there, maybe I have to put a, a little seat in it? Okay, let's try that. The seat. Let's put a little seat in it. We have a tandem seat. Well, I'll just put a regular one. Uh, does it have control surfaces everywhere? Uh, these ailerons don't seem to be turning when I. Oh, here you go. Yeah. So you can it can test while you're in the workshop. You can use the control surfaces to test. All right. Let's. Uh, I think it's uh, auto saves because it I don't see a save icon. That's nice. I love auto save. Let's click fly again. If it doesn't work, 
the engine, I'm just going to throw it. And the engine doesn't seem to be attaching to that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to throw it and see how it glides at, at least. That's not bad. That's actually flew instead of just the uh, looping. Not a lot of control authority on the other ones, but at least it flew. All right. Okay, I'm in an hour and nine minutes now. That wasn't very successful, but it gave you like a, a little um, preview of how the building in um, this wonderful joy-filled video game called uh, Balsam Auto Flight Simulator is going to be like. Building and flying and, and fighting with paintballs, these model little flight uh, airplanes. Uh, I'm going to out tab here real quick to, uh, to my stream. And I'm gonna try to put a URL. Uh, I'm gonna try to put a, a little link for you to see. Um, basically, the the person who made this video game became quite popular when they, he made a well, quite well known when he made a Kerbal Space Program. I think Elon Musk even tweeted about it. I think <laughs> that, that tells you the. I mean, not that everything Elon Musk tweets about is worth following, but this one it is definitely worth following. And and a lot of people started loving this uh, the Kerbal Space Program. And this cartoonist on the internet um, made this wonderful cartoon about it. And this is a guy that actually used to work in NASA. And this is a cartoon about how. When did he really start understanding orbital mechanics? Basically, how to put a spaceship in orbit. And it's a lovely cartoon. So instead of hypertext here on the bottom here, I'm going to change the URL for a second to actually maybe I have a do I have a, an alert box here? Let me see if I actually can put a. Uh, I'm just I'm just going to use this one. So here I'm moving it to the center of the screen, and for you to go check out this uh, this cartoon by this wonderful cartoonist uh, called uh, Randall Munro, I believe. And uh, the web address is xkcd.com slash 1356. And it's called uh, Orbital Mechanics. And there it is. Uh, and this is a cartoon about the previous video game of uh, the person who made this video game. That's wonderful. That's coming out soon. Called uh, Balsa Model Flight Simulator. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to be back uh, at 1 p.m. New York City time. Maybe a little earlier, but definitely 1 p.m. with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, 2020 flight over Sao Paulo, Brazil. We're going to fly over Gran Juviana, Cochia, and we're going to head into the, the big uh, uh, four jungle, the big urban uh, concrete jungle later. All right. In the meantime, try check out the cartoon. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Beijão, abração to everyone. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, a regular corporation and for Felipe Falongi and his team for making this video game and for giving me the opportunity to to play the closed beta. I'm loving it. I'm looking forward to playing the full game uh, and more betas that come before that. Peace out.